my guys. I'm fucking here with you. Okay, uh, I'm looking forward to this one. This is the last of the uh, beers that were sent down to me by Stuart Picard, aka Asian Just Stew in our beer mail. And, um, and it's one that he did send me before, but I donated it to uh, a bloke in work, um, an elderly chap who really liked the stouts. So anyway, he was kind enough to send me another bottle, so I finally get a chance to review it. I've just been on Twitter actually, um, speaking to a couple of guys on there, and they all said it's a really nice stout. So. And uh, obviously Stuart's told me it's nice as well, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's from the Acorn Brewery, and it's their Golovka Imperial Stout. Uh, I think Golovka says here is the twin town of Barnsley. Um, I'm assuming that's a Russian town. Let's have a look, see if there's any info. Okay, Golovka, it says a deep malt and hoppy aroma with licorice throughout. Roast malts, fruit and hops also carry through this full-bodied stout. Bottle conditioned. Um, all our beers are brewed using the original Barnsley Bitter yeast strains. They've got a website which is www.acorn-brewery.co.uk. Comes in at 6%. And um, it all looks very nice and civilised with a nice black and gold label. Very posh. So... Let's see what a peasant like me thinks of it. I haven't been doing much cap showing recently because they've all been plain. Um, I'm getting a bit pissed off actually because I do like collecting the caps and um, a lot of breweries just seem to be stamping on the old plain caps. I know it's a cost thing but you know now and again stick one on there. Um, right I'll put it in my uh, meantime glass because Stouts, as I've said before, stouts always look nice in this. And there you have it. Nice sort of tanned head. Uh, that's almost jet black, let's have a look. Whoops, at that. Yeah, it's almost black. Tiny little, tiny, tiny little trace of light getting through right at the bottom, you can just about see it. Nice tanned head. Um, let's give it a nose. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Okay. I'm getting quite a sort of astringent sort of smell on that. Um. Almost like a a mixture between uh, sort of like chocolate malts and almost like a wine sort of smell. You know when you get a really sort of fine, fine dark chocolate. I mean, almost like 80, 85, 90 percent. It almost takes on like a a wine sort of taste. Um, where it's so bitter and dark and juicy. Um, it's really hard to describe unless you've never tried it. If you have tried it, you probably know what I'm talking about. I mean, I think I've had 95% once. I think that was in um, Hotel Chocolat and it was crazy, really bitter, but it had this really vinous sort of whiny taste to it. Um, well, I'm getting that with this. It's almost um, slightly sour. A little bit of roasting. Actually, no, the roasting's starting to come through a bit more now. And um, and I am getting a bit of sweet chocolate on the smell as well. So it's got some interesting smells. Cheers. Stuart, thank you very much. Another successful beer mail. Mm, that's nice. Oh yeah, that bitterness does take a while to come in. The initial taste is um, almost like a like they've used um, Willamette or something like that. Um, you're getting like a dark berry hedgerow sort of taste uh, combined with the sweet chocolate. Um, the sweet chocolate isn't that powerful, but the predominant flavour seems to be um, like the, the dark berry. Um, and then it sort of settles into a sort of nice, sort of mellow coffee sort of taste, which would be the roasting. Um, 
and then I'm waiting and waiting and then all of a sudden you get a bit of this and it rises up. It's very slow in coming but it does get there and it's not overly powerful but it's, it's really really nice, really tasty. Getting a little bit of vanilla but I'm just getting a lot of the old uh, the hedgerow fruits. That's really, really nice. I really like that in a stout. A little bit of fruit. And then you're getting that nice bit of this at the end. And it's all really, really nice. Um, it's probably the, the tamest Imperial Stout I've had. Because a lot of the Imperial Stouts, ten, Imperial Stouts tend to be a bit full on. This one's very easy to drink. It doesn't taste like it's 6%. It does taste like a, like a normal stout. Um, but obviously it's slightly more complex. You get a bit more different flavours than that going through it, but it's a really, really nice beer. I'm and I'm very happy to have tried it. Um, it's definitely one you want to take your time over as well. Beautiful, nice low carbonation, nice burp. <laughs> Good, good stuff. Um, yeah, what am I going to give this? I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. I really like that. That's definitely a stout I'll go back to. Um, so there you go. That's the last of them. That's the last of my northern beer mail. Uh, my next uh, reviews are probably going to be from Scotland. And hopefully some from up and down the country. Because I am waiting for a delivery which seems to be taking forever to get here. But anyway... Oh, that's got some really nice... I'll tell you what, the aftertaste on that does linger and linger the bitterness. It's really, really nice. Really good. I really want to try this on cask. I'm hoping to get up to York in February. And um, I'll pop down the old York tap and see if they've got this on, on cask because I've heard it's really nice. Um, so there you go. Get it. Acorn Brewery, Golovka. You know it makes sense. Cheers!